Fran Dumpy. Uh, Fran Dumpy was there for a while, and they were an NCAA tournament team. All right, tradition rich. Pin at Missouri of the SEC. Missouri laying 12 and a half on a Friday night. 150 and a half is our total. Corby Craig, I'm right back to you for an official play on this game. Uh, what are we thinking here with the Mizzou Tigers? Yeah, it seems like I'm just a Debbie Downer on this Friday. I'm taking the under again at 150 and a half. Um, but for good reason, I believe. I think Missouri and uh, Penn have both played two very fast teams to start the season. So your threshold is to the ceiling of what they're going to play at. These are teams that have been pushed. I believe Missouri had 88, 89 possessions of the last game. So this is, isn't going wow. to happen. Yeah, they've played teams that, that want to push the ball fast. Uh, both of these teams are decently fast-paced, but they're not in the 150 range. I made this 144 and a half. Um, Missouri just has a whole bunch of contributors as transfers, and I imagine they can lock up the uh, perimeter offense for Penn. So I think that it's a good matchup for Missouri off, on defense, and offensively they're not trying to push the pace that we have seen so far this season. Uh, this number is just inflated a bit due to the game one. All right. Uh, thoughts, Kyle Hunter, not only on this game, but Missouri maybe and, and uh, early season. Yeah, I mean, Corby kind of answered. I was I was going to ask Corby a question here. Um, you know, that first game being 97-91 with the pace in the 80s. Uh, I know there was some fouling late in that game, which certainly extended the game as well. But uh, I, I, you think that that was just a function of who they were playing against, not really Missouri trying to push the pace? Yeah, so I, I think a little bit of both. Um I believe they shot uh, whoever they put. It was so what, Southern Illinois, um, Southern, Southern Indiana. Indiana, Southern Indiana, Southern Indiana. So Southern Indiana shot eighty percent from three in the second half. So um, wow. Missouri basically was forced to push tempo to to. They have better athletes, so they were forced to push tempo to keep this game um, their way. If, if if they were to slow down, they were just getting out shots. So they got the ball an infinite number of times because if you hit eighty one percent of shots, you're and, and you're a fast tempo team like. Southern Indiana didn't have the ball in their hand very much in the second half. So uh, this number got pushed up pretty fast from good shooting. And uh, when the game got close, they had to push tempo. That makes sense. Yeah. I mean, I, I, when I looked at this game, I considered the under marks in the chat asking what I had on this one. I had 148 as my number on this one. So I looked at the under thinking that, uh, you know, Missouri probably wouldn't be uh, lined this high against a Penn team that really doesn't play that fast normally. So I don't think they're going to get in a track meet um, unless Missouri wants it to be here. Um, having said, uh, you know, all that, I, I think this total is a little bit high uh, to not at least lean to the under. There was clearly an adjustment made by the odds makers. I think if before last game, if these two had played, they, they probably wouldn't have had it 150 and a half. It probably would have been 146 and a half or something like that. So that 188 point game, Kind of gets us a higher number. I don't think Penn's the type of team that's going to push the issue. So uh, unless Missouri really wants to track meet, like I said, I, I don't think it probably will be here. Um, this this is a Penn team that's kind of short on uh, scoring depth as well. So I'm going to lean to the under as well in this one. All right. There is a question in the live chat just real quick, Corby, on playing uh, uh, Purdue. I'm sorry. Um Pin, I think, in the first half. Maybe I have that question wrong. I'm sorry. Uh, somebody was asking about Purdue in the first half. I have it backwards. That was from the previous game. Uh, anyway, we'll lock it in here. Once again, Corby says under on this one. Under the 150 and a half. Um, evaluating that as he just did. So, all right. We'll see what happens in that matchup there uh, with Missouri as the home team and the Pin Quakers out of the Ivy League. Mm -hmm.